Hi everybody, it's Veronica with Before Bed Shop. Today's video is gonna be short and sweet. It's basically how I wrap all of my cold process soaps. I had a ton of people ask me how I wrap them, and so I figured since I'm wrapping up a bunch of loaves of soap for the fairs that are coming, I would go ahead and turn the camera on and let you guys see my process. And I won't bore you doing you know, hundreds of them at a time, I'll just do a few. But the first thing is, um, a lot of people ask me about these, my labels. So these are printed on two by two business card style paper. And as you can see, it has the company name, the website, what it is you're purchasing. I do list all my ingredients for all my products right on the label for external use only, cruelty-free, handmade, and where we're located. And you'll notice down here it's blank. Um, I print these in bulk because it's so much easier than printing per loaf. So what I do is I write the fragrance or the name of the soap here and then how many ounces. So that's gonna be our first step, figuring out how many ounces are in each bar that we're wrapping. So let's go ahead and move these soaps out of the way. And the ones I'm wrapping today are my Game of Thrones inspired House Targaryen. It's uh, the only loaf I had left before I remembered that I should record this. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my scale over and turn it on. And then we're just gonna go ahead and weigh each soap. So once you have it weighed, you're gonna go ahead and put the ounces on it, push it to the side. Again, weigh the next one, grab your card, put the ounces, push it to the side, and we'll just do three. All right. So how I usually do this is I end up weighing each loaf of soap, doing the cards, and then I push this all to the side and I grab my impulse sealer. So slide that over. Hopefully you guys can see. All right. And the bags that I use for sealing are these six by nine bags I get on the off Amazon. They come in boxes of 500. The reason I use this size is because it's big enough to do two bars of soap. So you'll see how I do that. So you just grab your soap along with the card and slide it into the bag. Push it all the way to the end. Once you have it in the end, I just like to hold my card and line it up. Once it's all lined up, you slide it into the impulse sealer and press down until the light goes off. You see there's a leftover bag. It's enough for another soap. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. <clears throat> Again, I'm gonna hold my card in place, slide it into the impulse sealer. Put it to the side, grab your next bag. Take your soap, slide it all the way to the end. Line up the card. All right, so now that I have those wrapped, I'm gonna move my impulse sealer out to the side and grab my heat gun. So I'm using my old Wagner heat gun. I got this when I first started soaping, so I probably had it about five years. My lever is starting to break on me. It's, sometimes it won't go to the low setting, but hopefully it does today. So we're gonna go ahead and push it to the low setting. See, it didn't go. And then hold your soap, hold the heat gun, pretty decent distance away and just start heating up the wrapping so it's nice and smooth. 
I do it very slowly because I don't want any tears in my wrapping. And see, it's still like has some wrinkles. You just go ahead and hold it far away, get all the wrinkles out, have it nice and smooth. And that's that. So let's grab the next one. And the longer you use the heat gun, the quicker it is to seal. It starts getting hotter and hotter. So you'll notice that the first one always takes the longest. But when you start getting down to the 20th bar, it's so fast. And it does get really hot. So some people wear gloves. I've been doing this so long, I don't even think my hands feel the heat anymore. See how this third one was like way faster than the first two. And that's that. That is what the final product looks like. It's sealed completely. I do leave one edge a little bumpy because I find it's easier for my customers to just go ahead and peel the soap open without damaging any frosting or ripping a embed off. So that's it. That's how I wrap my um, cold process soaps. If you guys have any questions or if there's another video that you would like for me to make, feel free to leave a comment below and I will I try to respond to everybody as quickly as possible. Um, these soaps, I believe, are live in the shop. There may be some left. Um, so if you're interested in buying a House Targaryen soap or a House Stark, feel free to check out the website. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye.